in the face. What happened? Mm, let's see if I can remember. Oh. Oh. Mm, memories hurt. Mm, okay. Alright. Oh. What did I ever do to that guy? What time is it? In fact, what day is it? Let's see. What the March thirtieth? Does that mean spring break? Spring break's over? School starting. Wait, does school start? In fact, does the third quarter even end? One doesn't end. Phoenix High School, and welcome to the first PHTV episode after spring break. I'm Riley Nichols. And I'm Giovanni Pulido. We have a lot of announcements. Our first announcement, indeed, the end of quarter three is next week, so make sure to get your grades up. And in speech and debate news, uh, the Phoenix High School speech and debate team will be going to district sometime this month. Uh, speech and debate competitors who are interested in competing or potentially going to state See Mr. Rhodes in his, Mr. Roderick in his room, not Rhodes, and sign up. This next announcement is for any seniors watching our broadcast. The Phoenix Talent Education Association Scholarship is due on April 10th for students who have attended the school district since second grade or longer. If you have any questions, go to the College Corner. Any 10th through 12th graders interested in my future, my choice, can come pick up an application in the attendance office. Your completed application must be turned in to the library tomorrow, uh, March 31st, by 8.30 a.m. Uh, interviews will start at 9 a.m. on March 31st uh, in the library conference room. They will come get you sometime during the 31st to be interviewed. If you have any questions, please see Lizette Glacieras. Every Wednesday, Breezy and Leadership are hiding the camel somewhere around the school. We do not have school the Wednesday before break, so no one won. But make sure to keep your eyes out this Wednesday for that camel. All right. uh, students, La Clinica services are still going on uh, Thursday starting around 8.30 a.m. Any students in need of mental, physical, or dental help, please see Mr. Akil in the attendance office to sign up. Reader for Life PHS student team is forming. This team is for students who are interested in raising money for cancer research. Research, excuse me, honoring a friend or family member struggling with cancer, earning community service hours, and participating in the relay on May 16th and 17th at SOU. They are, reg they are meeting regularly on Fridays in room 412. See Ms. Barton if you have any questions. Watch out for students walking around selling luminaria and footprints again from now until the event in May. To help, to help get students involved between now and May 16th, we have a segment to promote this event. wants to get involved in Relay for Life, they should come to my classroom N412 and um, just come on in and sign up. Um, it involves a meeting every Friday and um, you're going to want to work really hard on the fundraisers with us, but we work on them together. It's not like you have to go out on your own and raise a hundred dollars or anything. We, we work on it alone. So um, just come on in and we'll sign you up. Everything you do. 
Life for Life comes up with a theme, and this year it's Dr. Seuss. So um, we'll have um, some kind of a little costume that we wear for at least uh, a half hour or so, and maybe all night at the Relay for Life that will be on May 16th to 17th at Southern Oregon University. So then I took my Relay for Life is a, a relay sponsored by the American Cancer Society, and um, the purpose is to raise money for cancer research and also to um, raise awareness about cancer and to honor people who've struggled with cancer. So three different purposes sponsored by the American Cancer Society. At the Relay for Life event, our team will keep at least one person on the track at the Southern Oregon University track um, throughout a 24-hour period and uh, often the entire team would be on the track but clear through the night you know 2 a.m. 3 a.m. somebody on the track and it symbolizes the the struggle and you know the length of effort that it takes to conquer cancer um, besides that we'll have a little place a station a booth that's ours and we'll have a few things for sale for people who are walking the track there are lots of events throughout the night, little competitions between the 19 different teams that will be at the Relay for Life. Really fun things. Um, it's a blast. So all the money that we're raising goes to the American Cancer Society and they use it. Some of it will be used here in our valley um, to help support people with uh, maybe helping them get to the doctor, that kind of thing. Uh, most of the money goes to cancer research. So I relay, like so many people, because some people very close to me have um, struggled with cancer. And in fact, one out of every three Americans will get some form of cancer. So I like to be a part of helping. And then it's just a fun event and it's an opportunity for me to do something with students that's outside of the classroom um, that's worthwhile. And um, so I really enjoy it. <laughs> symbolic uh, effort, a team working hard for weeks and weeks to raise money to help other people, and then to spend a long 24-hour night, sometimes cold, um, making, uh, supporting each other, encouraging each other. All of those are symbolic things that um, are required in order to overcome any obstacle or to make it through any obstacle. So. That's what Relay Life for Life is. Several classes around the school now have donation boxes for Matthew Steiner's senior project. If you have any pocket change, feel free to put it in those boxes. The money from those boxes will go to UNICEF for kids in developing countries to get the vaccines they need. It's a great cause and make sure you put your pocket change in there. There will be a school-wide lip dub music video on April 15th, during the time we would normally have an assembly schedule. Uh, we need the whole school to participate this and be hyped up. There, if there is any negativity, vulgar language, or signs in the video, it cannot be used. Uh, and in also other news, any student struggling with the loss of a loved one may go to a teen support group through Winter Spring Counseling Center. The group will meet for four sessions on Wednesday evening starting April 1st. See Ms. Ingerson or Mr. Cook in the counseling office for more details. In sports news, all of our sports teams got their seasons underway over the break. Our baseball team got underway with five games over the break. They finished a two-week stint with a two-and-three record, including a sweep over Marshfield this weekend. Uh, oh, yeah. In softball, our softball team also started their season over spring break with three games. They came back out of the three games with a 2-1 record, including victories over Marshfield and Brookings Harbor. 
In track action, our boys and girls team competed at the Crusaders Relays. Our girls finished third from, out of 11 teams, and our boys finished fifth out of 10 teams. All right. Any boys basketball players not participating in a spring sport who would like to play spring ball, please come see Coach Rhodes. Well, it looks like that's all of our announcements, but now it's time for trivia. This week's winner is... Tyler Hine in Rhodes' room. <laughs> Congratulations. Come pick up your prize in Mr. Rhodes' room. Uh, this week's question is, when does the third quarter end? Uh, thank you for watching Phoenix High School, and don't forget to stick around for the pledge. Uh, this has always been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.